This always happens. I am cleaning this patio back here. It's always when I stop and gut things out or I'm working out or whatever. I got another phone call for a baby girl. Her name, Baby M. Baby girl, she was born on May 13th. Makes her like two weeks old or something like that. Ah. Uh, She's gonna be here today. I'll fill you all in soon. Ah, a little baby girl. <laughs> Okay, so I got the phone call today. This is for a baby girl, um, baby M. So here's the thing. They actually did call me back in the meantime and they let me know that there is a close family friend who they, they ideally would like to hand this child over to. I get it. They want the child to be as close to the family as possible, whatever. Um, but that family is not a foster uh, family. They're not approved to foster children. I said, well, if they're not approved, like, how could you? Yada, yada, yada. Uh, and he said there is a process that they can go through to get them approved. So right now it is just after 6 p.m. You know, DCFS is closed by now. They do have emergency. You know, they're always working 24-7. But I can't imagine that they're going to do any sort of approval tonight um, for a family. But I don't know. I don't know. I do know this. I have complete faith that if that little girl is meant to be here tonight, she will be here. With that being said, I am going to finally get this put together. This is the Mama Roo, uh, or the, not Mama Roo, the Four Moms, Four Moms, uh, here we go. Four Moms, ugh, uh, bassinet, Mama Roo sleep bassinet. And it like moves and it creates like the soothing motion for the children. So I'm gonna set that up tonight, today, right now, because I want, I want it set up. Um, and, God willing that she is here, uh, she'll have this tonight to sleep beside my bed. So this is exciting. I will say this. I was terrified about a little girl. Um, I actually told them no for a little girl a week ago. I didn't share this publicly, but I did tell them no and did a lot of thinking and meditating on it and realized like it's, it's okay. I will do fine with a little girl. So I'm excited and I hope she comes. I hope she's here today. I need some crying babies around here. I need some crying babies. Ah. Well, in the matter of, I don't know, two hours, baby is not coming. So I called the worker because it, it was like six, something like almost 6 30 or something and i just said hey i'm just checking for an update and he says to me oh yeah we went ahead with the family friend i'm sorry i didn't call you and update you update you i was just having to get paperwork together and stuff and i'm just like this is the oh, this is the such a this is the frustrating part it's like do not gaslight me like this. When I got off the phone with him earlier, I said, I understand you might go with this other family. Just please let me know. Do not leave me hanging. He said, don't worry, I will keep you posted. And it's just frustrating. It's just, it's just frustrating. Anyway, whatever. So now I go back to waiting, back to waiting. I am going to go work out to the gym. I had plans to go with Alex to the gym, uh, canceled those plans so I could be here for the delivery of the child. Um, I don't want to go work out. I do not want to. This is so much gaslighting. It drives me crazy. But I have to learn to get through these calls and the ups and downs of the foster care system as gracefully as possible. 
Actually, I even posted today on Instagram about this. Um, so I'm going to go work out because I have to learn to just get through this. I have to learn like, get you get excited. You really get excited for these little children to come. And then last minute it doesn't happen. And it is the ultimate form of gaslighting, you know whatever I set up the bassinet I took down the crib I'm gonna have to put that crib like under the bed or something like that I don't know I'll figure it out but I set up the bassinet it's really cool um, I'll show you guys that and maybe in another video or something <sighs> anyway but that's it I'm gonna go work out because I'm gonna just go through my day as it was planned as best as I can so Short video today, but um, it's relevant to this experience. I love you guys. Peace out. Bye.